Dame, we're actually here discussing Sway Lee. Sway Lee, probably one of my favorite dreadheads to this day. Um, just in terms of lyrical content, production quality, singing style of his music, he's done a standout job of paving his own way in the industry with his melodic tunes and his locks looking pretty fire as well. So today, without further ado, we will be looking into Sway Lee, you know, the other half of the of Ray Shremerd, but they don't really go by that anymore. He's more on his solo tip now more than anything, but let's hop right into this dread review, shall we? Boom shakalaka, Sway Lee. Um, Sway Lee Lee Sway, 8 million followers these days on Instagram. Um, these pictures here were the ones that really got me interested in doing a video update on his locks. I feel like his locks are pretty legendary, considering they are super thin, considering that his locks are bleached and high topped. They do a pretty good job of standing out. They're not fully high top, they're more of a faux hawk style. Now, I like the way Sway Lee's dreads look in, um, even though they're thin, you know, I feel like these days a lot more people going for the thicker locks, but his being very voluminous, he's had dreads now like five, six, seven years, and it's cool to see his bleach that he's got going in there. He's got more of an auburn look going where it's not platinum blonde, but still like at a good, uh, at a good um, color to achieve. Uh, and the new growth coming in, he's not re-dyeing his dreads. So he's kind of like dyed it once and left it like that over the years. And I actually kind of remember his blonde, full blonde dreads. And this is kind of like looking at his locks, looking at his style, pretty amazing. I like to see this look actually. This is really cool to see with the dreads. These um, head wraps make sense with locks, no doubt. And he's just fucking balling out here. <laughs> um, sick. Eardrum records, over 5 million singles sold. So this guy has a house in Dubai. That is freaking gangster. Um, locks here tied back with his own locks. Pretty sick. And um, just his, he's got swag, yo. This is, he's got that swag. And this is why it's so cool to see. Sway Lee's style, you know, he's just pretty legendary in the, in the lock game, big time. Um, he used to rock the pineapple hair quite a bit. Here we're just seeing ponytails being put back nowadays. And here is, uh, you know, actually showing some new growth here that's not directly tied down to his scalp. Hair dread, dread tied back in a ponytail. He's even got a little bit of green at this point of his locks tied up there. It's kind of in a loose. But this is sick for that sunflower song. And his dreads are here are actually tied up in two strand twists with a rubber band going on here. Just going for that thicker look. And even his clothing style is pretty on point these days. The way that he's able to, to floss in this manner. This is Sway Lee's locks before he had all the dye in there. Definitely looks a lot better now with the bleach in there. And in terms of his hair being two strand twisted, it does kind of thicken him up a bit, sides being shaved. And I feel like this look is done more so after getting a retwist done on his locks. Um, young Sway Lee coming from this look here with the do-rag before the dreads. And um, this is more so around the time that he dyed his dreads all blonde. And I like the way he does this messy ponytail in the back, not giving a damn how it really turns out. Canadian here, pretty sick, Tory Lanes. So yes, locks looking very legendary these days. Very, very legendary. And here's another picture of his half updo that he kind of does quite often. And one last one here, lazy ponytail, which is actually better to do because it's not pushing your dreads, it's not, it's not pulling the dreads tight from the scalp. Um, it's a little bit looser here, so it's a bit more forgiving. If I were to look up Sway Lee 
on YouTube, checking out what his latest videos are here. It seems like it was three months ago. I'm surprised he only has 400K following on here. And he actually hasn't put out a single video of himself in a few months since he's bleached his hair. So looking at the sex to see video, this was before they even got the bleach put back in, you know, three, four, five months ago. We do see his hair crinkly as he just had it braided out. Um, this look made popular always by Lil Wayne. I always remember Lil Wayne doing this first, making it popular back in the day. But essentially, like even in this video, we don't see, oh, we see here his locks when they're all black. So we can compare, but you know, the braid out now between them being all black versus the blonde with the new growth versus, you know, the scalp showing. I feel like he's at a better stage of his locks now more than anything. He kind of stands out a bit more with his locks bleach blonde than just regular like this. Um, but you know, I'm always more of a fan of the natural look. So it's funny that I actually think that the bleach looks better on him here. I'm just gonna see if I can find any more videos of the dude. Yeah, nothing really. Nothing really here in terms of uh, Swaley being recent with his locks. Um, you know, there's a video here of him selling jewelry to customers from three months ago at Icebox. Probably gonna show us a good view of his locks as they are now. A lot of length. Uh, you can notice that his bangs are always as half or half as lengthy as the rest of his hair. I remember when he had cut those short and uh, his locks just honestly, they're looking better with the frizz with the new growth coming in opposed to having them tightly braided up. So he's done a good job. Crazy to see the amount of tattoos that the dude has too. It's insane. He always looks happy and he's fucking stoned all the time. <laughs> and even some of his locks here looking pretty thick towards the back. I like to see that we got a grill in now so we can see how his locks are kind of shaping out. Uh, the tips all look pretty blunted. Does look a lot better not having it tightly retwisted. So thank you, Sway Lee, for not doing the retwist as often anymore. I think that's a big, I think that's a big, big thing. And oh my God, looks like whoever this lady is, has got the exact same dreads as Sway Lee. <laughs> the exact same style. That is hilarious. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see where he takes his journey. Uh, Sway Lee being a legend in the hip hop scene. Actually, all three of these guys have the same sort of dreads. Looks amazing. What a stand up fellow, huh? What a stand up guy. So I appreciate everybody always stopping by here, watching these videos. Sway Lee being one of my favorite R&B artists out there right now. And I just appreciate any artist that has rhythm and melody, to be honest, because once you can put a melody together, that shit is catchy. And this is how a lot of these songs go so viral because of these catchy melodies. Sway Lee definitely on top of that game right now. So um, leave me a comment down below. What do you guys think about Sway Lee's dreadlocks? And much love and blessings to everybody watching this video today, having a happy holidays, releasing this content on a schedule because you know how it is. I'm not even in town right now. I'm out in the beach, soaking it up, doing some vlogs out in Mexico, but I'm gonna keep this shit fire. I'm gonna keep this fire going for you guys. But uh, until next time, you know, I have to see peace out. One loves to happy and natty. And of course, um, stay tuned and subscribe because this is Not Nation, the only place for the top dreadlock reviews of the world. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gone. Adios. <laughs> Yeah, but look how me tell them, say, yo, yo, say what? We rise up on a left of them up.